Hello there, good evening to all my fellow surgeons and dear colleagues. Today we'll be starting this video with the importance of a bevel down technique for specifically for denser cataracts and achieving a good vertical chop. As you can see in this diagram, I have made a nucleus with the endonucleus in the yellow part. I have made the zonules and the phaco tip, the blue sleeve as you can see it and the phaco tip. As we go into the nucleus, mind you, the first diagram shows the bevel up technique in which I have buried the phaco tip in the nucleus but because of the bevel up, I am unable to go to the depths of the endonucleus which results in a faulty chop. As you can see from the phaco pull vector, my vectors are not opposite. The push of the chopper and the pull of the phaco are not in the opposite direction and resultantly I won't be able to achieve a very good vertical chop when the bevel is up. Now if I have to show you the change, here you go, this is the change and this is the ideal technique. You can see the adequately exposed phaco tip, the bevel is facing down and it is located in the center of the endonucleus which causes a good amount of vacuum buildup and the chopper pushes down and both of them are in the vertical axis resulting in a brilliant vertical chop. Coming to the case, here you go. Now I'll demonstrate you the importance of bevel down technique for a good vertical chop in this grade 4 nucleus. This is a hard nucleus and we'll be going around with the same steps creating two side ports, injecting some air bubble, injecting some dye for staining the capsule. I'll be here some fatty secretions of the patient from the lashes. Washing away the dye and I'll be putting in some visco and then we'll be going ahead with the capsular excess. One point to note in all these hard cases is to make an adequately sized rexes. I'll be using Oatly which has a flared tip and I must say all these modern FACO machines from Alcon they have a small tip as compared to the Oatly and AMO Compact. So it is better to grab hold of nucleus with a broad tip. Once you have started the rexes, I'll make sure it does not run out and it does not run in. I need a good, big, decently sized rexes for achieving good phaco cracks. The whole procedure will become really easy if I manage to have a good sized rexes. All the new surgeons kindly make it a point to enlarge your rexes or make a good big sized rexes when the cataract grade is hard. I have made a biplanar main port and as I showed you in the diagram, bevel down, go deep, grab the endonucleus, find that sweet spot between phaco pedal 3 and phaco pedal 2 and once you have that sweet spot, you just push your chopper down when the phaco is pulling the nucleus up and the phaco chop will be a breeze. It is the most important technique to master and here you go. I'll have some difficulty locating the, the side port. The patient is on a little on the uncooperative un side because the patient is not able to fixate his eye on the light and here you go I'll go in with the chopper first and then phaco just irrigating it for one last time before entering the anterior chamber and down, 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 down into the endonucleus, phaco 3, phaco 2 and chop. Just like that, 
I have made two hemi-nuclei with the same old famous modified vertical chop as you can see I have made some my horizontal chop also makes some contribution and here you go once again the same thing I'll go deep in the endonucleus with bevel down bevel down is very important for a good purchase into the endonucleus once you have a good purchase and just throw away those cracks with your chopper the procedure becomes really easy if your technique is right you can go back to the diagrams i showed you grab a screenshot and show it to your colleagues and friends who are about to learn feco especially the direct chop technique which is mind you the fastest technique to chop a nucleus and once again i'll be repeating the procedure just go into the endonucleus bevel down identify the sweet spot and play your chopper just like that yes when a chop like that happens rest of the case becomes a cakewalk air bubbles irritating me but nevertheless once again into the endonucleus and chop once again the feco pull and the chopper push should be in the vertical plane they should be opposite in their vectors and not in some other directions the ve vectors should cancel each other once they cancel each other you will automatically crack the nucleus apart that's all from my side i hope you like my videos kindly like share and subscribe my videos thank you so much and have a great day ahead